Hey, welcome back everyone. In this video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to remove an element from a list using a loop. So we might wanna remove pizza slice from this because we got pizza slice in here like four times and ain't nobody need to be carrying loose pizza slices in their backpack, that's gross. Speaking of, one time my girlfriend, <laughs> <laughs> Would I say my girlfriend? Speaking of just carrying food around with you, uh, one time I was with my girlfriend at the time and she was getting her ear pierced and I pulled out a sandwich from McDonald's out of my pocket and started eating it and she uh, was like really grossed out for some reason. So I think she was really questioning her decision and was like, ooh, maybe this guy's like a sociopath. I don't know. I thought it was fine. But anyways, that's just a little fun story. So don't do that. Just a little bit of dating advice for you guys. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove pizza slice. So using the skills that we've been talking about, all you would do is say backpack.remove and then pass in some data such as pizza slice. It needs to match exactly with casing. So pizza with a capital P and a lowercase p are two different pizzas. And this is fine and all, but if we print backpack afterwards, we can see we still have a bunch of pizza slices in here. So what we need to do is we actually need to do a loop. And here's how you would structure this. You would say while backpack dot count pass in pizza. And if this for some reason is greater than zero, we got problems because we're going to get rid of all those soggy pizza slices. So then what you would do is you would say backpack dot remove and pass in pizza slice and make sure you got your words right. We got pizza slice, not pizza. So this should do the trick so we can get rid of these lines here. And then at the end, we can print the backpack. All right, let's run this. And you can see it effectively gets rid of all of the pizza slices. So this does the trick. The code is pretty. However, it might not be the most performant. And what I mean by that is every single time we want to remove a pizza slice, we're going to look through our backpack. And imagine if we had just one of those huge backpacks that we could just fit everything we ever wanted in there. We might have 10,000 items or 100,000. Let me just kind of explain what I mean. When we do backpack.count, it's gonna go through there and count all of the pizza slices. So one, two, three, four, and it's greater than zero, so it's going to remove a pizza slice. So it has to find the first pizza slice, takes it and removes it, and then it does the process again, but this time starting with button. It scans through all the items, counts the pizza slices, notices it's still greater than zero. So then what it does is it'll go through and remove that pizza slice. So it finds it and removes it. And it repeats this process, pretty much iterating through our list tons and tons and tons of times, depending on how many pizza slices we have. So if you're just working with a small list, it's really not that big of a deal. I don't really worry too much about algorithm complexity for most of my applications because I'm working with such a small amount of data. Keep in mind that a computer processor is extremely, extremely fast. So iterating through this is like nothing. But if we have a large enough list, that repetitive iterating can actually cause our program to be slow and we do not want that. So this is not really a scalable solution, but it does the trick.